ExxonMobil is going to announce an over $200,000 grant for developing great citizens in North Baton Rouge and the area and the state to become better trained employees for not only ExxonMobil, which employs 5,000 people locally, but for all of industry. So this is exciting. We have our partners throughout here, which is really what I like because we've already networked with them today. And so if you think about it, our best resource is our people. So ExxonMobil and the ExxonMobil Foundation applies a lot of efforts working in collaboration with other partners. And we have some great partners here, BRCC, and then we have the East Baton Rouge School Foundation, and then also many more Hope Industries, to name a few. So it's, it's a fantastic effort to try to take people in the local area and train them even better. Partnerships between industry, community nonprofits, and an educational institution all are coming together for the good of a community, North Baton Rouge community. More specifically, we're coming together to train individuals in the North Baton Rouge community in high demand, high skill, high wage jobs. What type of partners do, does ExxonMobil have in this? So ExxonMobil, it, the community is our partner. So besides a few that I've mentioned before, such as BRCC and East Baton Rouge School System and Hope Industries, we also are working with governmental officials faith-based organizations along with the communities. So we have community dialogue groups that we're sharing this information with. So it's a real collaborative effort. We're here with uh, a lot of our nonprofit partners to receive a grant from ExxonMobil and are very excited. It's about workforce development. We're receiving a grant that will allow us to put a very innovative teaching tool into Northdale uh, Magnet Academy so that uh, students can uh, explore welding as a career. We think this is really important for the workforce development um, needs that our community is having. It will help them. Um, lay down some basic skills so that they can then seek some post-secondary education um, going forward. Baton Rouge Youth Coalition is one of the many recipients of uh, grants that are focused through Exxon exclusively on workforce development. Uh, so we're lucky enough to be uh, one of those recipients. HOPE's involvement is that, in that is a program called HOPE Works, which is a workforce training initiative that is designed specifically for low to moderate income employees and their supervisors and managers. And so we are a part of this initiative um, that ExxonMobil is so greatly um, funding for us and we're really proud to be here. I'm here with the Greater Baton Rouge Literacy Coalition just talking about the rollout of the North Baton Rouge Industrial Training Initiative. Uh, we're a partner in this project and we've been doing this kind of work for a while. Uh, I serve students that for whatever reason dropped out of the K-12 school system but are ready to re-up and get back on track with their education. And one thing that we've learned is that many of the students are a lot more interested in pursuing their high school credential if it is clearly tied to some type of workforce or career goal. And so what we've had a lot of success doing is preparing people not just for GED or high school equivalency but also making sure they have the basic skills they need to be able to participate in training. Okay, if you had to pick one thing to say is the most important reason for that these partnerships should exist, what would you say? Well, it, it, it's all about collaboration really you know uh, I think all of the uh, the partners that are gathered here today each each partner brings something to the table uh, uh, to the formula um, you know each has uh, you know some I guess um, uh, some interest uh, in in workforce development and in or, you know, each is offering some program or some service and but but collectively I think our impact uh, is much uh, is, is is felt in a much greater way when we come together as we uh, as we have been doing uh, and will continue to do going forward so it's all about partnering and collaboration it makes a huge difference what types of challenges does ExxonMobil face with the current workforce well as you can see demographic are changing and also industry which is a great thing is expanding so we need highly trained workers so with that going on we would like them to be able to go step in and give us safe and very efficient operations because we're globally competitive so it's, it's exciting and what's very interesting is the North Baton Rouge Industrial Training Initiative trained not only uh, a group last year for the first time it trained them on pipe fitting welding and electrical crafts, which is what we need every day because as a plant manager, I'm always looking for these good trained individuals. At this point, if someone has a skill or was trained, they probably are working already. 
So the next challenge is people that want to go to work that don't know how to get there. And we have to make sure that there's an avenue. The community and technical college system, the technical colleges, the community colleges across the state, there's probably one not 40 miles from your driveway. We need to let everybody know that there's a message that you can start there and build a career and stop anywhere you want. And you can go as high as you want, as far as you want. You can make as much money as you want, and you can have as much fun as you want. But you've got to take that first step. And so what we're trying to convince everybody is, hey, there's, it's a lot of fun after the first step. I'm Andrea Lewis Miller. I'm the chancellor at, at Baton Rouge Community College. And it is such a pleasure to welcome all of you to our campus. On behalf of all our students, our faculty and staff, we are so honored that you have joined us for this exciting announcement. It is through these types of innovative approaches that we meet the needs of our community. So we're so glad to have all the partners that we have here today. So thank you for being a part of our program. Please join me now in welcoming the ExxonMobil Plastics Manager, Mr. Charles Dabadi. Thank you very much. Well, good morning and thanks for being here today. Uh, this is a great day. I'm the manager at the Baton Rouge Plastics Plant uh, on Highway 19. And I firsthand know, working in industry most of my career, how important workforce development is. With a local workforce at ExxonMobil of over 5,000 employees and contractors, workforce development is key. We need qualified labor day in, day out to run our plants safe and efficiently because it's a global competition. With strong workforce development efforts like this to fuel the labor market, it keeps our companies very competitive. And ExxonMobil is proud to support and provide quality lifelong careers to thousands of local men and women. Last year, the North Baton Rouge Industrial Training Initiative had its first class. It trained people on pipe fitting, electrical, and other millwright and machinery type crafts. That's a fantastic for us in industry because we need a well-trained workforce. But also, we have our Baker workforce development that's doing the same a little further north in Baton Rouge area, and they were working on electrical and also machinery millwright crafts, which is needed in all our industries. But without that, North Baton Rouge and Baker, we're expanding, we're growing, and what's fantastic is having young people like you're seeing here and then behind me, Carlos, having great stories that they're going to join us in the workforce to have a great successful workforce. We need to know the value of this investment. Without training, we won't survive. The success of this program depends on hard work from all of our partners. It's a collaborative effort. So I have friends behind me and on the side showing that this collaborative effort is fantastic for Baton Rouge, for the state, and for all of our industries. I'd like to recognize a few of these organizations. The Baton Rouge Community College, Foundation for East Baton Rouge Public School System, Hope Ministries, Louisiana Workforce Education Initiative, Greater Baton Rouge Literacy Coalition, the Baton Rouge Youth Coalition, Education's Next Horizon, Cinecor Foundation, and Scotlandville High School for Engineering and Professionals. It is my pleasure to announce of these educational and community partners will benefit from a grant of over $200,000 from the ExxonMobil Foundation to support their exceptional dedication and effort to these local individuals. On a related note, thank you. On a related note, NBR ITI graduated Carlos Evans right here behind me and we ran the story in an ExxonMobil article and what was so fantastic is uh, Herb and Maxine of the Jacobs Foundation read the article were so moved that they're also putting in twenty thousand dollars for the initiative so this is fantastic for Baton Rouge in the area so in conclusion you know this is a fantastic effort I'm glad to see all the people here, and I'd like to turn it back over to Dr. Miller. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Charles. Wow, what an exciting day. This has been a historic year for our institution, 
and it is significant that we are in this specific room today to make this announcement. We gathered here in, in 2012 to announce the launch of the Baton Rouge Training Initiative. This room, this campus. Initially, this campus was Capital, Te Capital Area Technical College, but we have since merged, and now all of you are here at the Acadian campus of Baton Rouge Community College. And I'm so proud to be able to say today that we are one. And today you have joined what is now called the new BRCC Acadian campus. And I want to give Kay McDaniels and uh, Tammy and some of the other former Capital Area employees uh, a hand of applause for, for working with us. Now over the past year, not only have we seen the successful merger of our institutions, but we have also witnessed the success of graduates of the North Baton Rouge Training Initiative. In partnership with ExxonMobil and their leadership, and with the leadership of Dr. Christelle Slaughter with SSA Consultants, we were able to bring together a diverse group of local industry and community leaders with the goal of connecting local residents with career opportunities and filling high demand, high wage jobs. We came together as business, education, and community partners to provide training in the areas of welding, pipe fitting, and electrical. As a community college, we provide our community with access to quality education and training, and ultimately access to careers in our local workforce. But our job does not end there. We must provide our students with the tools they need to succeed. And when our students succeed, our community succeeds. That was the goal of the North Baton Rouge Industrial Training Initiative, and that is exactly what we have accomplished. This morning, you will have even a better opportunity to hear from one of those success, stor success stories. I am pleased to announce that the success of the North Baton Rouge Training Initiative has led to the launch of a similar program, which Charles mentioned. <clears throat> we have recently joined with the City of Baker and to create a Baker Workforce Development Program. This program is based upon the premise that providing a high quality educational environment uh, will lead to very capable and very skilled individuals who will enter into the workforce. And now we will have our next speaker, who is the, Janet Pace, the Executive Director of the Foundation for Baton, East Baton Rouge Schools. Sorry, Janet. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Miller. It is a pleasure to stand here today with such distinguished leaders and partners, all of whom share one common goal, to provide opportunities for relevant workforce skills and credentials that will give our young people the educational foundation they need to succeed in a global economy. Many of my uh, board members are here today and I wanted to give a little shout out to them. Catherine Kassam, our president, um, our uh, Ted Fernberg, Ken Miller, John Smith, and our school board representative, Barbara Freiberg. Thank you for being here and supporting all of this today. Uh, we thank, we thank ExxonMobil for its commitment and applaud, applaud this tangible investment to our students. We know that this demonstration of support for public schools will leverage, encourage, and attract others in business and industry to follow your lead. As the new executive director for the foundation, I'm fortunate to step into a role where such partnerships are alive and well. We work closely with the East Baton Rouge school system by aligning our goals with their strategic plan. Um, and it's good to see the, uh, Barbara here today representing the school board. The foundation's portion of this funding was shepherded by the school system under the leadership of Dr. Bernard Taylor, Jr. Um, our foundation was created in 2012 and our mission is to enhance education by promoting academic excellence, championing innovation, and providing a sustained financial support to East Baton Rouge Public Schools. We generate private support for high priority uh, projects for which tax, do tax dollars are not available. We promote uh, successful prax practices emphasizing science, engineering, technology, arts, and math. STEAM, and we work to increase the number of technology-rich and workplace-relevant experiences for students, which is why we're here today. Our vision is a strengthened community through world-class education and partnerships, and it's the second part of that vision that brings us all here today. None of us alone can help students gain the necessary skills to be productive members of society or to earn a family-sustaining wage. None of us alone can produce the workforce necessary for the high demand, high skill, and high paying jobs that our region needs. This initiative is a perfect example of how industry, educational institutions, and nonprofits can work together for the benefit of the students and ultimately for the betterment of our community. The welding program at Northdale Academy will now have an innovative interactive teaching tool 
to help teachers assess a student's interest and aptitude for success in a welding career and to lay the foundation for basic skills so that they can then move on to Baton Rouge Community College or other post-secondary institutions. We know that because of ExxonMobil's investment, we will improve the educational experience for our high school students and that in the process we'll provide an engaging and relevant education that reduces dropout rates and improves student achievement. And we're proud to be part of this. Thank you. I'm sorry, I was supposed to introduce Janet Simmons. She's the Executive Director of Hope Ministries. Sorry about that. That's okay, thank you. Good morning, it is indeed um, a pleasure to be here with all these collaborative partners. Hope Ministries is very excited to be a part of this larger workforce training initiative in the North Baton Rouge area. Thank you, ExxonMobil, for recognizing the importance of this. This is really great for our community. Hope has been working towards this goal since 2006, or over eight years. We have been researching and identifying tangible and proven methods to help our clients move towards independence, and we have found that the best ways to do that is through a strong workforce initiative in the community. In 2012, we launched Hope Works, our workforce training program. It is modeled after the evidence-based welfare to career program from Cascade Engineering in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Cascade Engineering made a concerted effort to employ those in Grand Rapids who were on some kind of welfare. Initially, their efforts failed and they had a 34% retention rate. After learning from their mistakes, they began to recognize that success took a lot more. They hired a full-time job coach, trained their managers and supervisors in understanding their workforce, and began an incentive program for their employees that encouraged their entry-level employees to obtain goals, which in turn invest their uh, goals, um, excuse me, turn increase their income. Both their employees and their supervisors were trained to work together to resolve conflicts and overcome barriers that often cause their employees to either miss work or get to work late, often causing termination. Since implementing this model, Cascade Engineering's retention rate has increased to 97%. Because of Cascade's success, a consortium of businesses formed an agency called The Source. This agency mirrors Hope Ministries' Hope Works program. Butterball Farms, one manu manufacturer who benefited from The Source, saved $3,825,000 in one year in turnover costs, and their retention rate soared to 87% in just one year. The state of Michigan found that for every $100,000 that they spent with the source, the state saved $1 million in welfare expenses. HopeWorks Workforce de Development has three components. Our workforce training consists of a 40-hour employee development workshop called Going Beyond. We have career coaching, and then our last part is Understanding Your Workforce, which is a six-hour workshop for su supervisors and training, su excuse me, supervisors and managers. In its entirety, the Hope Ministries program completes the circle of management and employees collaborating together for a sustainable working community. Again, I would like to thank ExxonMobil so much for this opportunity to work collaboratively to make Baton Rouge a great community in which to live, work, and play. It is my pleasure to introduce Carlos Evans, the graduate of the first North Baton Rouge Industrial Training Initiative. Good morning. Uh, my name is Carlos Evans. I am honored to share my experience with you all today. Uh, God has blessed me uh, with the opportunity of working at Exxon. I am thankful because I, not only he knows the roadblocks and the, the, the roadblocks that attempt to hinder me in my past. Um, prior to the program, I was having a difficult time locating employment. Uh, after a series of uneventful jobs, uh, I came back to the realization of going back to school was my only option to attain it and maintain it, the lifestyle that I needed to live. This program was a lifesaver. Uh, in fact, through all the skills, physical, mental, has assisted me in landing the job of my dreams. My work ethic, my character has improved as well. Uh, this program helped me with not only pro providing the education, the skills that I needed to perform, but also helped me find employment that after I graduated. Uh, I am now an employee of Turner Specialty at ExxonMobil. Uh, I am grateful and blessed for the opportunity 
that I have been part of this training program. And uh, I want to thank my mom, my son, for supporting me. And thank you. Several months back, we uh, conducted several forums. Uh, uh, we participated in a community forum here in East Baton Rouge. Uh, and uh, we also uh, participated in, in forums in other parts of the state. Uh, in which we brought business leaders uh, together across the state to talk about the importance of these uh, higher standards. Um, in partnership with uh, ExxonMobil, we produced a, uh, a video uh, in which business leaders uh, in Louisiana talked about uh, the importance of uh, Common Core um, and, uh, and the new assessments uh, that our, st our students uh, will be given uh, or, or in the process of being given. And uh, lastly, we um, uh, of course, got very engaged in this uh, current legislative session, and uh, as a result of our work and the work of many other advocates, uh, we think that Common Core and the park assessments uh, are going to stay in Louisiana. So, um, you know, it's it's just an ongoing process of uh, advocacy and engagement, and getting the message out to the business community. Uh, about how important these standards are for workforce development. Can you tell me a little bit about how the workforce program works? Yeah, so basically what we do is we go and have a day where we interview people and say, why don't you come and work for us? They're great lifelong careers that people can do. And if we have highly skilled and trained people, we become better operators. So our vision is to train these people on life skills along with their other skills and we can get a great workforce. What kind of impact do these grants have on the program? Well, what happens is that it, uh, it, it, it's able you're able to take care of the uh, some of the the uh, soft costs uh, and also the instructor costs that that uh, go along with the programs. My experience of the program it was it was pretty cool. Uh, we did uh, the first couple of months of classroom work was the core certification. Uh, the last the, the next couple of few months it was uh, hands-on training. Uh, we got a chance to, uh, to do the, the certification course. Uh, once the, hand, the hands on started, we got a chance to go in the lab, burn a couple of rods, and do, a, do some welding. So that's pretty straight. What was your specialty? Welding. Welding. Welding was my specialty. Yeah. Yeah, and how did it get you? How, how did it help you get a job? Uh, I guess because it was in high demand. And wanted to be a welder because I knew that's what you know that's what people wanted when you look into uh, testified paper you look online it, there was always a demand for welders so when I went in uh, work on a turnaround uh, I never would, got in my craft but I was just happy just to be working in the plant so I took that and you know it just kept it you know with me or whatever so the, all the training that I learned from the incentive program I used it and. It pushed me past welding to pushing me where, where I'm at now is uh, I'm a train uh, assistant operator on the docks. At Turner Industries, we've been in the business for 50 years. Right now we have about 20,000 employees doing exactly what you saw Carlos talk about. In fact, Carlos is one. We're lucky to have Carlos as one of our fellow employees. We hope that we can find a lot of people and put them to work. But there's companies just like Turner, not just Turner. There's a lot of other companies here in town that do the same thing and everybody wants to be involved. We're very fortunate we got involved with this one early on and we're happy to see the second cohort get ready to get started. Can you tell me a little bit about the program? Okay, well what we have in Baker, we started off with the welding program and now we have a machinist millwright program. We've just finished that up. We have an electrical and then we have a pipe fitting program. It's a great program because what it does is it allows students from the northern part of the parish to attend the programs and it's close to home for them and also what it does is eventually you you get the students involved and what's going to happen is they're going to they're going to get gain experiences and they'll be able to go out and find uh, uh, employment. We have quite a few programs but in particular these programs that we're that we're talking about is pipe fitting, welding and electrical. Hey, and what are the size of those programs currently? Currently, those programs are primarily non-credit, so we could have any, at any given time anywhere from 50 to 60 students enrolling at each pipe fitting, welding, and electrical. That's at BRCC. But this particular program uh, that, that we're talking about today is really customized for ExxonMobil and its contractors. So the number of students that we had in the first program was 47. We do industrial maintenance construction. Uh, we teach 
our students the full range of, of, of maintenance from doing uh, civil work, working in the ground, to pumps, and up to next to working with electronics and electricity. And the course will last uh, 16 weeks and it gives them a good rounded education. This is the pump. This is known as a high pressure injection pump. Okay, it ha doesn't have a motor on it, but it, it's used to inject chemicals into high pressure systems. Okay, without this type of pump, you wouldn't have uh, gasoline manufacturing. Without this, you wouldn't have chemical manufacturers. So it takes a lot of specialty equipment to do so, and this is what these students actually learn how to do. Actually, work on also work on valves. They work on uh, how to work on valves, how to take valves apart, how to fix them. This is actually an ACDC, ACDC trainer, and we teach people the basic theory of electricity. Okay, alternating current, DC current, and that's what it does. It teaches what you can do and what you can't do. Uh, electricity is just not plugging something into the wall. All right. To make electricity, you need electricity. Once you make electricity, you can make electricity for the rest of your life, as long as you have electricity. All right, so it's very weird, all right? But and this is what it does. It teaches people how to work, okay? And uh, this is part of our program at BRCC that we work for, elect for electrical, and they learn the basics, uh, and we teach four courses, electrical one, two, and three. And they actually, when they finish electrical one and two, they're not certified to work with live electricity, but they actually are able to work with an electrical company to do basic uh, running cable or running wire, doing conduit work, and actually uh, hooking things up. They're not. They can't actually work with live electricity yet until they go into this second and third uh, course. Can you tell me a little bit about the foundation? What exactly do you do and that type of thing? The foundation was created in 2012. It was uh, in partnership with the school system and with a group of community leaders who saw a need to raise money for high-impact innovative projects that tax dollars weren't available. Um, it takes it takes a lot of people now to, to provide that quality education that kids need. And so we are focused on STEAM. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. And what we're doing is looking for programming and, and providing training for teachers so that they can really infuse this into, into the school system. What types of things does your organization do to help develop the workforce? Well, we have, like I said, our Hope Works program, which actually has three components. Hope Works has a 40-hour workshop training for employees to go through to learn about employment challenges, uh, different barriers to employment, things that may cause them to not be able to keep their employment. So we work individually also through our career coaches that actually provide solutions for how to how to solve problems if you're having problems with sustain, sustainability or retention with your own um, job. And then we also provide training for the managers and supervisors to help them understand their workforce and how to get through those challenges and barriers that their employees may bring to the workforce and really make this a, a collaborative effort to have sustainable employment in our community. The ACT program is going to be serving at least 60 students but potentially 100 students this year uh, so we're still kind of in the planning phase for 2014-2015 but uh, we expect that we're going to be able to leverage the funding Exxon provided to serve many students. We serve about 350 students a year and we do that in partnership with um, a couple of community-based organizations that do adult literacy or education. And then we also have our ACE program, which stands for Accelerated Career Education. And we do that in partnership with Baton Rouge Community College. And it's a really interesting uh, program because we actually do this team teaching model where we have an adult education teacher in the classroom as well as a career instructor. Uh, the two pathways we focus on are healthcare and skilled craft. 
And so, for example, in our millwright, a millwright program, we'll have Ms. Gale, our basic skill instructor, and Mr. Fleet, who's teaching the students how to be millwrights. And the students love it because they see how this will be relevant to what they want to do with their lives. But we're also, you know, addressing the basic skill gaps that put them in this situation. Why is it important that this program happens? For a lot of reasons. One, our, our, the mission for us is to champion innovation and to provide these technology-rich experiences for students. Um, the 21st century workplace is uh, rife with need. We know from the chamber and from our state that, that workforce development skills are needed by our graduating students. And so this is important to give them that foundation so that they can go on and be successful. Ultimately we want all of our students to be able to earn a family sustaining wage so that they can be productive members of our society and so that companies like Exxon can have really top-notch employees from the community. They don't have to go outside to look for them. We focus on pre-k-12 uh, education improvement and uh, we've been uh, very uh, inv uh, deeply involved in uh, promoting common core higher standards and obviously students need to be better prepared for college and careers uh, and so uh, through the support of ExxonMobil we've been able to really get more engaged in promoting these higher standards which you know, as a result of which we are better preparing our kids to go out into the workforce to meet the high demand for these uh, uh, skills that, uh, that uh, employers need uh, in, in Louisiana. How does this grant affect your organization? What kind of impact does it have? Well, it allows us to serve the community, the low-income community, with um, sound, proven methods of increasing their self-sufficiency through employment and through sustainable employment. And so this um, income is providing us ability to do that. For us specifically, uh, we're focusing on uh, standardized test preparation. And so the ACT, which is the standardized test that uh, all ba basically all Louisiana high school students take as an entry point to college, um, it's a critical gateway to college and it's really what holds the keys to whether or not they're going to get into college and get the kind of scholarships that they need to be successful and then ultimately join the workforce and, and, and do the kinds of things that Exxon wants them to do in terms of being productive members of society. And so the ACT is sort of the, the starting point and through Exxon's funding we're going to be able to grow and continue to um, to uh, improve our ACT program. What this is going to do is really allow the school and teachers to assess a student's aptitude on the front end and so this will really um, enhance and expand the program at Northdale. It'll have huge impact. We're very budget minded and so every dollar makes a, a huge difference. Um, we spend most of our dollars in the classroom providing quality instruction and just making sure the students have the support that they need so they can stay at it. Um, when you're working with adult students, they have very um, many priorities and although we'd like to say you have to prioritize your education, it's not a realistic thing to say at all. Uh, they have children, they have jobs, they have other responsibilities and so we know that we have to invest some time and resources as well into student support so that we can help students not just with their education but also you know, supporting them so they make good decisions and they know what other resources are available in the community. What kind of impact has this had on your life? Uh, a big impact, uh, it, it, I'm like a famous superstar in a positive way, uh, I kind of like it, so I got a positive image, so that's what I kind of wanted, so it's fine. What would you say to somebody who, who might be thinking about joining the program? Uh, if you're thinking about joining the program, uh, be motivated, stay positive, and just believe in yourself. We're just really grateful for Exxon. It's a great partner. It, they are always um, looking for ways that they can partner with nonprofits in our community, and we just wish that all um, industry was as great a partner as ExxonMobil. We're extremely grateful for Exxon's, not only their financial support, but more importantly, their belief in what we're doing, and uh, we're going to leverage their support to do great things. I'd just like for uh, the community in general in East Baton Rouge to get behind BRCC and ExxonMobil and all of our um, community partners and to help us do an even better job than we did the first time. It's an awesome, awesome opportunity for them to participate in. Stay focused. Stay focused and believe in yourself and stay true to yourself. This is great. Keep up the great work.